Uh, good Monday morning to you all YouTube. Here with you at the uh, new printer, the Elegoo Centauri Carbon printer that I bought. Um, this is the, uh, <laughs> what you're looking at is an unfinished moon. Uh, <laughs> I made a, a complete video on this. Um, and in the process I was very positive about the printer. <laughs> Um, and, uh, well, rightly so. It was doing pretty good. Um, everything was working. I had one little problem with it at the beginning uh, from, I think, a shipping problem that occurred. Uh, and that was really all I had that uh, had caused me any uh, concern about the printer. But, <laughs> since then, uh, I have had this. So, I woke up this morning... Um, and this was printing last night when I, I went to bed. Um, this is a, a moon, I, I, as I said. Uh, this was the uh, second of the uh, ones that I printed. Now, the first one turned out perfect, and it looked really good. And this one looks good, but just the problem with it is it stopped printing. <laughs> um, so, that's what it was. Basically, I came in, and let me pan down a little bit on the... See the display there but I I see the saw the uh, display the light was out on the inside and the display was still lit but uh, the machine itself was on but it wasn't running um, it uh, had powered down because it does that when nobody there's no printing going on or like that so uh, so I had tried several times to punch buttons on the control panel to get it to continue with its print and could not do it. But anyway, so bottom line was I turned the printer off and then I turned it back on, cycled the power in other words. And uh, when I did, it came up on the uh, little control panel that there was an unfinished uh, print on the plate and did I want to resume it? And I said yes. Uh, so it started to heat up the build plate and the hot end on the uh, extruder. But before it got done doing that, the the uh, print head itself moved, and when it moved, it was still stuck to the uh, moon from the last time it was printing, because when the liquid uh, filament cools, it obviously becomes hard again, and it was stuck to it. So it just started dragging the uh, moon around with the print head, and when it does that, there's not much you can do, because it's done broke loose from the base and you can't continue from there so that's pretty much it for that so that's what you end up with uh, uh, a big big bowl uh, <laughs> or a hat I'll, I'll put a picture I had it on as a hat for a while I was showing Bob <laughs> but uh, again not a good print and quite a bit of wasted filament so don't know exactly what the problem is um, uh, Again, it just, I, I don't know. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, but uh, up until this time, this had been, you know, other than the, the problem that I'll, I'm going to put in a little description of that as well. Other than that problem, uh, I didn't have any concerns about this printer. It was doing good. As you can see, I made a, a riser for the top. That's nice heat riser taken you can close these vents if you need to like that and that increases the temperature on the inside when you obviously when you close the vents so uh, that works real well it's got vents on each side and you can close any of them or all of them that you want and so like I said everything is good except for that problem right there that you see uh, that's not good <laughs> So, uh, I guess basically what I'm saying is, <laughs> until I figure out what the problem is, I can't really recommend buying this because if it's going to do stuff like this. Now, I have heard other people talk about this, and they say the problem they have is what they call air printing, where uh, something clogs up in the hot end of the extruder, and causes no filament to come out, and yet the uh, printing keeps printing, 
or the head keeps moving like it is printing, but nothing's coming out. So eventually you, you basically see the the head moving around in there with nothing coming out, and it's just above the print. And it's kind of kind of looks weird, but that's what they call air printing. But like I said, this that wasn't the case on this. It has just stopped. And I, I, I thought about a power glitch, you know, because we do have those every once in a while. The, I'll get up and I'll see the clocks in the kitchen or flashing or whatever. But uh, the, they weren't flashing, and I don't think that was the problem because, again, like I said, when I cycled the power, it came back up and said you have an unfinished print. Well, it, you know, if that happened during the night, that's what it would have been saying on the uh, display, but it didn't. So, I don't know... Um, what to say about it uh, until I have some more information, I guess. Uh, but I will, like I said, I'm going to outline the little problem that I had to begin with with the shipping. Uh, there were some loose screws and the um, it goes through a uh, self-check when you first turn it on and that came out with an error because one of the fans wasn't working. So again, like I said, I'll, I'll put the little part in here that uh, shows where uh, I was talking about that. Uh, show the uh, print head with the uh, you have the uh, loose uh, screw on one side and you have a, a screw that fell out on the other side and then the connector, little power connector there was loose that's why the fan wasn't working so I had basically uh, put the screws back in found out what tool I needed for that and put those back in and then I tightened that uh, or put that uh, power connector back together and once I did that it was fine and it worked fine like I said it's been fine ever since until this so um, <laughs> kinda hard to uh, kinda hard to just you know overlook this <laughs> you know like say, oh it's just a fluke well no it's not a fluke uh, there's a problem now I did um, have a firmware update when I first got this set up after I went through the self check the second time and uh, did the firmware update uh, and that was good it worked fine and like I said everything looked well as far as, as how it printed and I did print uh, I think five the mini moons that uh, Bob and I have been playing around with and those printed fine and then like I say I printed a full moon big moon like you see there only it, it completed it was fine and like I said, after I printed that one, I turned the printer off for maybe, oh, 10 minutes, I don't know. And I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and start the other one and uh, get that done because I had enough filament at the time uh, on the spool to uh, complete it. Now I don't. <laughs> so, again, that's just wasted filament other than the hat that I showed you. <laughs> so, like I said, I, 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 you, with new printers, you always have... Uh, some undocumented bugs I guess is what you would call them but uh, uh, this is one of them I'm sure um, I'm sure they will fix it uh, they've been pretty good to fix any problems uh, they have had one of the problems they did fix was the light now you can see it's pretty light, pretty light in there and previously they only had a little button light above the camera and it was very dark in there so uh, they have fixed some things and, and that's one of them and like I said uh, they're working to. I'm, I'm not. I'm not worried about it. I, I don't. I think this is a good printer. I really do. Um, it's just a matter of you know living through it until you get the, all the bugs worked out. And you know there's still bugs work uh, on the uh, other printers as far as that concerned. You know what I mean? Uh, all of them have bugs. Uh, that just no way of getting around it in new new uh, pieces of uh, hardware like this. So. Uh, anywho, uh, the uh, display, like I showed you down there, it looks good. It's a touch screen, and it works well. Uh, that part of it's great. Um, and again, the printer itself was so easy to set up. A child could do it, as they say. I basically had to attach the display and hook it up. There's a cable uh, that it hooks to. And once you hook it up to the cable, there's two slots that slide in, and you just press down on the top of the display, and it clicks in to place. It's done. Uh, there are three screws on the inside, by the uh, on each uh, well on the front two corners of the uh, bill plate, and then right in the center of the back, there's a screw that holds the bill plate uh, down to the uh, frame while it's shipping. 
and that's they, those come out obviously before you because you know, the uh, bill plate wouldn't be able to move if you didn't take those out. So uh, those come out. That was it. Uh, the rest of it, <laughs> like I said, it's just been working fine. Um, I really haven't made other than the riser that I printed for the top and. The reason I printed that riser on the top is because uh, people were saying that uh, there's a good chance you can break your glass top by taking it on and off if you need to uh, have more uh, air flowing for different different print filaments that you're using. Uh, I think for PLA and PETG or PETG uh, filament, uh, the open top would be fine, uh, but for uh, ABS, A ASA, uh, and maybe some carbon fiber, things like that, um, you want the full closed thing. So uh, the riser just allows you to leave the glass plate or glass top in, in place and not worry about where, where you sit it. If you sit it on somewhere and it falls over and breaks or whatever, you don't have that problem. You just open the vents and, and close the vents as needed uh, for the prints that you're making. So that should be good. Uh, again, like I say, no no big concerns about this as far as them getting this fixed. And like I said, the first moon that I printed, printed fine, flawlessly, 25 hours is what it took to print it. And you have to remember that that had just completed a 13-hour print from the uh, mini moons that it did. So, you know, that was quite a bit of a, uh, you know, I went from one to the other pretty quick. So that was quite of a... a a long print session. Not that the the printer shouldn't handle it. I mean, it should be able. To, you know, if you have these in a print farm, they just constantly print all day long. So again, this is some kind of a problem in their firmware, obviously, that uh, caused that to glitch. But uh, they'll get it figured out. And like I say, I'll be the first one to report it if it is, <laughs> if I find out about it. But. Uh, I just wanted to basically give you a first look at the printer. The printer, again, is, is good build quality. It looks nice. Uh, and it's easy to set up. It comes just as you see it. The door is attached. And uh, the only thing that uh, isn't there, of course, the riser wouldn't be there because I printed that. But the glass top is uh, packed in a uh, side, uh, well packed in some between some... Uh, um, packing material so it doesn't get broke and it didn't nothing was broke nothing was bent the the box was in good shape um so like i said i'm, I'm very happy with that part of it it's just uh <laughs> hoping that gets fixed because you know you, you don't mind w wasting filament once in a while but you know if that becomes a habit then you know it gets expensive uh <laughs> so uh this happened to be i this is not expensive at all this was a christmas gift uh, my uh, daughter and son-in-law bought me several rolls or spools of the uh, PETG uh, filament and I have been trying to use them up and this was actually the last uh, well what's on the printer there itself you can see there's some left I think but uh, that's the last of the white that they got I think I forget how many spools they got me but uh, there was uh, uh, quite a few <laughs> And I have been printing with it, uh, you know, for a long time. And even the uh, the PL uh, P1P over there on the on the left uh, has uh, a roll of black still on it from the uh, same thing. And I think I still have a roll of black, as a matter of fact. But uh, <laughs> anywho, that's what uh, what's going on with this. And like I said, um, I just wanted kind of everybody to be aware of this problem. Like I said, I had made a video before this that didn't include the problem uh, because it hadn't happened yet. And uh, so once it happened, I wanted I I decided to completely remake the video because you know it's it's it was pretty it was pretty gush gushy about how good the printer this was, and it is a good printer. But like I said, it's just uh, got a bug, and uh, until they get that bug fixed, you you can't hardly it's hard to trust the printer is is the problem. Um, I guess is the best way to say it, but you know when it does stuff like that then you have to think well You know, can I leave it overnight? You know because you, you, you just don't really want to leave it overnight and, and printing like that because You think well in the morning it's going to be stopped for this reason or that reason and you know It's just not trustworthy. So like I said, uh, we'll see what happens. I am going to print another one of these 
Um, I've got another uh, spool of white PLA. It's not PETG, but that doesn't matter. Uh, there's no there's no real heat to these lamps anyway. The little bulb that goes in them, I think, is an 18 watt or something like that. And it's uh, and that's that's um, what the actual wattage is. I think it's an LED, and of course they don't get that hot at all. But um, so, like I said, I'll probably do that. But I think I'm gonna let it sit today because it's been printing for quite a few hours since I got it. So uh, I thought we'd just let it have a break and uh, maybe print tomorrow some more and uh, see if it works and like I said if uh, I have another problem like this or if, if uh, I find out the solution to the problem I will come back and let you know but uh, for now that's about it uh, I'm not going to recommend it yet because uh, you know I, I can't like I said it's just when you have undocumented problems like this uh, if you look at it, a good example. If you look at the uh, videos on YouTube about this reviews or whatever you want to call it on this printer, you'll thought you'll find probably 95% of them are very glowing and positive on this printer because mainly because of the price. But uh, also, you know, most people don't don't bother telling you that there are some hidden problems. So, uh, like I said, I figured this is the best way to do it. And like I said, I, you know. Until they get the bugs out, I'd say at least don't buy it for now. And like I said, maybe later on, if they, you know, you hear they've got the bugs out, then maybe is a good time to buy. Of course, they may they may raise the price and then so <laughs> that could be that could be the reason why it's so cheap. But anywho, like I said, that's it. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later, and we will see ya.